Number nine, Maureen Pugh. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Arts, Culture and Heritage and asks, what support does Budget 2017 provide for New Zealand's arts, culture and heritage? No, Mr Mary. Speaker. The Honourable Maggie Barry. We allocated a total of $21.2 million of new funding, including an $11.4 million investment into Radio New Zealand, $4.8 million for the ongoing development of Pukiahu National War Memorial Park, $5 million in additional funding for the 2019 First Encounters 250, and along with colleague the Honourable Simon Bridges, $305 million was allocated to support New Zealand film industry, both globally and domestically. Uh, this is the fund that supported 50 international productions and 23 New Zealand productions in the past three years. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Maureen Pugh. What will an $11.4 million, million dollar funding boost over the next four years mean for Radio New Zealand? No. Mr Speaker. The Honourable Maggie Barry. Uh, building on the work of my predecessor, the Honourable Amy Adams, the 8% increase in Radio New Zealand's base funding will assist it to buy new, modern technology, improved capability and expand regional coverage, supporting the great advances it has made towards becoming a multimedia source of quality news and a trusted public service broadcaster in times of emergencies, such as the Kaikoura earthquake. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Jacinda Ardern. Oh. To the Minister, can she confirm that despite telling the Save the St James group in December 2015 that she was looking into avenues to support its restoration, 18 months later she's not only failed to follow through, she instead denied their application for support but still had the audacity to have a photo op with a building that is facing ruin on her watch. Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Maggie Barry. Oh, when we talk about audacity, that member takes the biscuit. Um, <laughs> having, having been heard of not at all over a long period of time, I acknowledge the his heritage significance of the St James Theatre as a Category 1 building. And along with the local Member of Parliament for Auckland Central, the Honourable Nikki Kay, um, I am engaged actively with my officials and with those associated with the St James in a real sense uh, for the provision of services to that wonderful theatre. And that member has done absolutely nothing at all uh, for St James. Order. Supplementary question, more in view. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. How will an additional investment enable the ongoing development of Pukiahu National War Memorial Park? Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Maggie Barry. Since its opening in April 2015, the park has been embraced by New Zealanders and has established itself as a place for remembrance and commemoration, not only here but internationally, attracting more than 122,000 visitors and 20,000 schoolchildren. The new funding will mean the park can continue to provide its highly successful education program at the Queen Elizabeth II Education Centre. It will also assist with the installation and up keep of the memorials. Uh, we will also be unveiling British, Belgian, French and American memorials. They're in the pipeline and will be Order. installed by next Anzac Day. I, I absolutely uh, thank and congratulate my predecessor, the Honourable Chris Finlayson, for the heavy lifting he did on the park and on the Arras Tunnel. It's been a triumph. Order. Question number 10, Jan Logie. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.